hello friends today in this video i will discuss how uh, duplex filters in our system like in mot tgl tgl system tdfl system or any other lubrication system there is a uh, duplex filter is there so that the oil get uh, cleaned and uh, there is no impurity left mechanical impurity got trapped in filters so i will discuss uh, how in our system we are going to change a duplex filter okay see i am taking example of a uh, tg level filter it is a moti filter that is uh, feeding oil to the turbine okay see i am just drawing two filter elements see this is filter a and this is filter b okay here oil is coming okay this is the change over wall this is the change over wall okay oil is coming oil coming okay from the pump so let me just make some vent arrangement vent drain drain this is also vent okay see this is a change over wall change over wall, the function of change over wall is to change the flow from this uh, this direction or the di or this direction okay so here oil is coming it may go uh, in a direction or b direction okay after that oil is coming out and going to bearing oil coming out of filter of filter So this is filtered oil it is going to bearing for lubrication purposes okay see i have just make a simple scheme of a lube oil system where oil is flowing see oil is flowing like this there is a change over wall change your wall is a three way wall it it flow it can uh, give flow to this direction or it can also flow to the this direction okay so always there are a flow in one direction always okay so it never separate uh, closes oil flow okay so this change your wall always in operation while at any uh at, at at any position so see when this handle has been indicating this direction then the flow is like this see the flow is like this oil is topped up in this and here that then is uh, tightened so get filled and at when when there is oil coming from vent then you can just say that our filter is primed now i am conditioning uh, taking a condition where this filter is in service like flow is like this c c c this is a flow of oil okay flow is like this but this filter is getting choked 
चौक मीन्स इट इज गेटिंग डर्टी सो एज द फिल्टर एलिमेंट इन दिस फिल्टर गेटिंग डर्टी देन द फ्लो इज गेटिंग रिस्ट्रिक्टेड सो यू आर फेसिंग अ डिफरेंशियल प्रेशर बिटवीन इन लेट लाइन एंड आउटलेट लाइन सो डी पी स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग ओके सो हियर डिफरेंशियल प्रेशर गेट इंक्रीजिंग चोकिंग अलार्म अपियर्स appears at uh, some time it happens that lower pressure is so drastically uh, decreased that it may uh, may trip your turbine also so always recommended that whenever it is a 50% uh choking in filter suspected you can change your filter okay see this is the normal flow i'm just considering that this filter is been choked so i have to take this filter in service so what we are what we are going to do for that you have to first check it's the second filter's drain valve is closed or not so this valve should be in closed condition see this then valve is closed so and you have to open crack open crack open see the vent you have to open crack open uh, slightly now as the flow is already established in the direction this a valve this is called equalizing line equalizing line valve okay so what do you have to do you have just open it open say around 50% okay so here what happens the oil coming in this direction is flowing and also flowing in this direction also so oil flow is like this and also in this direction so what happens it it starts filling this filter see this filter is been filling and at 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 any point the oil is coming out from the vent so if there is a continuous oil coming then you just you can close your vent okay so here your filter is primed with your it closing valve in open condition now what you will see what you will do now open this closing valve fully see uh, up to that point this filter is in service and this filter is also primed now what we have to do you have to change the wall uh, the flow for that you have to move your wheel in this direction the indicator will so like this at that point you will see dp alarm will disappear and choking alarm will also appear so here what will happen this circuit will in come in service and this valve is in, in open condition so now you will close it this valve so there is no flow in this direction okay so the flow is flow of oil in the, the direction only see now this filter b is in service now what will happen to this filter how will uh, get it depressurized and drain see you have closed this valve this valve is already closed now you have to open crack open crack open much opening just only slightly you have to crack open vent the oil is depressurized from this filter and after that you open the drain fully the oil will come to the clean oil tank 
or that you will tank which whatever you have selected so oil will flow from this direction to this direction see the oil will be drained out here now as you see this already in service this valve should be remain in closed condition this should remain in this direction and flow will be like this only so you can uh, give your permit to concerned maintenance so that he can clean the choked filter and um, after cl cleaning you can uh, he will assemble this filter assembly and it will be primed again like this in B filter ok so here I have discussed how you can change your uh, MOT or any oil filter ok hope you have uh, got something um, from this video thank you